Hi, I'm Craig Turton, Managing Director of Chartered Risk Solutions. I'm also a financial planner. The week that was, I spent some time with Candidate C, who is a 22-year-old young lady who has just started working. Uh, she had various concerns which we needed to address. The first part of our planning process was to set up an interview meeting with her to identify those needs and concerns. Okay, the first part of our financial planning process is to get to know the client, understand her needs, understand her concerns, and also to get to know her background a little bit, a little bit better, where she comes from um, and her history. Uh, a history in a person's financial portfolio makes a big difference um, in terms of the way they think about money. Part of the planning process is to take each one of our clients and candidates see through our planning tool. Now the first step in that planning tool is to establish what property she owns as well as her debts and what she owes uh, to various institutions. So I captured that with candidate C. The next step is to then capture approved investments. So those are retirement funding investments, your retirement annuities, pension funds, uh, preservation funds, for example. The next step is to capture her discretionary investments. Discretionary investments are any investments which you choose to invest in. Examples would, could be shares, unit trusts, um, endowments for example. Once we've captured those assets then we go on to the income and expenses side and we establish what the client's income after tax could be as well as doing a budget exercise to see what her expenses are. From there we can establish what her net uh, savings is after all those various deductions. Okay, in candidate C's case, she only being 22 years, two years old, she is already uh, a breadwinner in her household. Uh, she helps her siblings uh, with, with groceries on a month to month basis. She has a very particular goal to save for something which has a lot of meaning to her, which we needed to take into account when we're doing her budget and taking her planning into account. Candidacy also doesn't have any form of medical aid um, emergency funding at this stage. Her employer doesn't offer uh, retirement funding in, in the form of pension or provident funds, um, and nor do they have any group benefits. So we need to take those into account and candidacy will have to address those issues with the income that she generates uh, herself. Our biggest concern with candidate C was the fact that number one she didn't have a medical aid. So part of my investigation and part of the homework that I have to do, I have to go and make sure that she gets some sort of coverage with the hospital plan which is still affordable for her due to the fact that uh, medical expenses um, and you know, the, the state of public hospitals in this country could be a big concern. The second concern which I had was the fact that her biggest asset at the moment is her ability to work and earn an income. So without that income, it's going to not just affect her, but because she's a breadwinner, it is going to affect other family members. So there, I'm going to recommend a form of income protection to protect her salary against a disability or, a, or some sort of sickness. If, for you at home who would like to, to look at your own portfolios, for me, priority number one would be to have a look at your medical aid, make sure that your dependents are correctly loaded on there and that it covers all the, the major um, in-hospital expenses that you, uh, you could occur. The second one is to protect yourself uh, and protect your, your income. The third priority for me then would be to um, have an emergency fund. So have a, a, a simple cash account where you park money and in the case of emergencies, unforeseen expenses, you have that cash on hand where you don't have to dip into credit cards and debt in order to fix those, uh, those unforeseen expenses. Then the fourth priority for me then would be to settle debt. So once you've got that emergency account in place, try and settle debt in any way you can. Your debt could be credit cards, it could be a, a home loan. 
then once that is sorted, then start looking at discretionary investments, then start looking at unit trusts, start looking at um, various investments in the, in the marketplace, and at the same time make sure that your retirement funding is taken care of and that as soon as you get your first salary check, a certain percentage of that is going towards retirement funding. Okay, the next step with candidate C is to do my homework, go and address the needs and concerns which we have established together and come back to her uh, with certain recommendations. So those recommendations will take place in a meeting next week where I will detail how much the medical aid will cost her, uh, what the income protection will be um, and what sort of emergency savings account we're going to put in place with her. So we will meet together in another hour meeting and present my recommendations to her.